Howdy y'all, it's Seth, and I've been away for a little while dealing with some family stuff, some sick dogs, and of course, this, the purchase of a new vehicle. Yeah, unfortunately, the Subaru, good old Subi, is no longer with us. She hit about 120,000 miles, and it was time for an upgrade, so we've got a Honda Passport now, and of course, I've got to take it through the weird blue building. We are grabbing breakfast at Pal's. I'm not allowed to eat in the car, so I'll probably just sit on my back porch with a nice view of the woods and tell you how this is. Come along. All right, as promised, I am sitting out here on the back porch. I told you, brand new car. My wife will not let me eat in it, and I've made a promise to her no food uh, while I'm driving especially, but definitely no food in the car. Uh, I've got a bad habit of, well, you know. But, um... Swung by Pals, I have honestly lived here for three years and never had breakfast at Pals. So we're going to give it a try. And of course, up first is a giant cup of coffee. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know I actually drink my coffee in one of two ways. Uh, I either drink it straight black, which is what this is today, which is also how I make it at home. Um, the other way I drink my coffee is like a 15-year-old girl on a sugar binge. Uh, I will go through and get something with like 180 grams of sugar, um, some chocolatey, caramelly, marshmallowy, uh, gooey coffee drink that's 3% coffee, 8% uh, healthy, and 90 some odd percent fats and sugars. And I know that's over 100%, but that's just how I roll, always giving more than 100%. But the opinion on the coffee, I never know what to expect from fast food coffee. Um, and Pals is not exactly on the coffee radar, but I gotta be honest with you, for just a straight black coffee, um, I don't know if it's always this good or whoever's making it is just doing a bang-up job this morning, but this is good, solid, drinkable, non-bitter, fast-food coffee, so this comes highly recommended. In fact, if this is so good, I may actually have to make an effort to stop there some mornings when I don't have time to brew at home just for the coffee. Because the one thing I love about Pals is they are quick service. They are fast. But I can't drink coffee and not start eating breakfast. So first up, Cheddar Rounds. These are like tater tots with cheese in them. Everybody says Pals has the best. We're going to find out. They're good. Um, are they the best? Probably not, but they're on the same level as everybody else. There's nothing there's nothing blowing me away with it. But honestly, they're not bad either. They're delicious. You can never go wrong with fried potatoes and cheese. So, that's solid. Um, not the best I've ever had. Certainly not the worst. And I'm going to apologize if this lighting is a little bit weird. It is morning. And the sun comes up right behind me. So, we've got... Yeah, I'm probably sitting in shadows. But, I mean, look at this backdrop. This is why we moved here to Tennessee. It's almost winter. We're at the uh, the middle of November now. So, it's a little less exciting back here. We've still got some color. But, um... Oh, this fills in nicely in summer. So, not a terrible place to, uh, to hang out. Of course, it's all behind me. I'm just facing the side of my house. But I figured you guys would rather see this back here than white vinyl siding, which is a little less than inspiring. I'm going to be sunburned on that side of my head. Moving on, I'm going to be trying the Pals Summer Sausage Biscuit. Let me, oh, oh, this is greasy. This is, it's like coming right through the wax paper on this. Which, if I was in the car, I'd be freaking out right now because it's, my wife would murder me, but I'm not in the car. I am on my back porch, and I can make messes at home as long as I clean them up. And then my wife doesn't have to try to hide my body, which is kind of a big body to hide. So, look at that. That is a good-looking biscuit, but it's uh, it's going to be kind of hard to open. It's it's. I wanted to open it and show you the sausage, but it's just crumbling. But there is a giant. You can you can see that. There's extra pieces. There's a giant summer sausage cut in half in the middle of this thing. 
And uh, this was just added to the menu. I don't know if it's uh, going to be around forever or if it's a limited edition. Let's, uh, let's take a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's a crazy yard today. I've got a billion squirrels behind me, a stray cat trying to eat them. Oh, it's just nuts out here, but if you listen, oh, it's nice. Anyway, <laughs> that summer sausage biscuit, oh my God. Uh, the biscuit alone, and again, this is my first time having Pal's breakfast. The biscuit is solid for a Southern biscuit. It's fantastic. Uh, you can tell that they put salt and butter or salted butter right on top of that thing. And they are generous with the butter. It's a very buttery, salty, flaky, crumbly, uh, moist biscuit. It's That's a solid biscuit even with nothing in it. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can get just the biscuit on the menu anyway. But with that sausage, that's good. And that's a decent summer sausage. For, I mean... When was the last time you went through a drive-thru and got summer sausage? So, that thing's solid. Uh, no complaints here on my end. I'm gonna eat another bite. And, uh... Move on to the biscuits and gravy. Yes. Biscuits and gravy. He says out of the corner of his mouth. Alright, so you know I love doing these food reviews. I do hope to get back out camping, especially as the weather is getting cool and cold. It's it's about 58 degrees out here right now, and I am loving it. No jackets, no sweaters, just t-shirts. I rock the t-shirts as long as I possibly can. If you've been on this journey for the last year, you've seen. But I digress. Biscuits and gravy time. Can I do this without spilling it? All right, I was not sure what to expect from fast food biscuits and gravy. Um... I mean, actually, let me correct that. I knew exactly what to expect from fast food biscuits and gravy. Expectations are low. Um, the gravy is comes in a pouch frozen, and they just thought, you know, the same way you do everything else. Uh, like if you were to get do biscuits and gravy at home from the freezer instead of from scratch, you just pull the pouch out of the box and throw it in a pot of boiling water and nuke it in the microwave for like, I don't know, 30 seconds or whatever. So my expectations here were low. However, when I took a bite of that first, uh, that biscuit, that the summer sausage biscuit, my expectations went up a little bit. Because even if the gravy is subpar, and it does, it, it looks like a relatively basic gravy here. Even if the gravy is subpar, I already know the biscuit is actually probably the best fast food biscuit I've had. And yes, I've been to Hardee's. So, the, uh... Biscuits and gravy, expectations have gone up. I'm hoping that expectations are, uh, that, that I'm not just yeah. hyping myself up now with higher expectations and this just ends up tasting like paste. Although, I kind of do look like the kid that, the, the, the guy that ate a lot of paste as a kid. So, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But I knew that kid. Great biscuit, average gravy. That's um, kind of what I was coming to expect, and that's, that's where I was hit. The biscuit is fantastic. This did come from my car, and then I brought it home, and then I set up out here. So to be fair to pals, it's probably been 30 minutes since this was handed to me. And I did not put it in the microwave. So it's cool. I mean, the flavor's good. It's just, it's a very mild flavor. There's not a whole lot of black pepper, uh, not a whole lot of sausage. The sausage chunks, if you can even see them, are rather small. And so it's not, it's not bad. Uh, I've got no complaints about it. I would definitely do it again. Maybe I'll take my old truck through, and then I can eat in the car and eat that while it's still hot. Um... Because let's be honest here, uh, when you have a truck with 150,000 miles on it, you can pretty much do anything you want in it, and uh, you're not going to damage it. So, 
that's uh, something to consider. Overall, I can't complain. It's it's a good breakfast. I'm going to finish uh, some of this. My dogs are looking at me through the door, so there's a good possibility uh, of two hounds getting a little summer sausage this morning. I don't think they'll do biscuits and gravy. Well, Cody might do biscuits and gravy. Would I do breakfast here again? I absolutely would. The coffee alone has been impressive enough. Uh, everybody knows who the king of fast food coffee is. And um, this gives them a run for their money, uh, especially just for straight normal coffee. Uh, there's no caramel syrup or... Did I say caramel? I need more of this so I can be able to talk this morning. Me and mornings don't get along so well. My only complaint... If I was, like, in the car with a pen, I would poke a few holes in this lid because I'm not getting great airflow. But I'm also an adult, so I can always just drink my coffee just like this. And get great airflow in black coffee. So, yeah, that's good. It's good coffee. Um, it's great coffee. This this may even rival name brand Green Logo Coffee, um, as far as just a cup of black coffee goes. And that blows my mind. And this is just black coffee from a from a place with a giant fiberglass hamburger on the front, and it's excellent. So, pals, way to go. This you need to start putting this in your commercial. As for everything else. Uh, I would say the, so the summer sausage biscuit was above above average. It wasn't great, but it's so nice to have a breakfast sausage that isn't a normal, boring breakfast sausage. You know, a round patty that's been thrown on a grill an hour ago. It's so, and I'm sure Pals has those too. Maybe not. They're they're busy, so it's probably you know less than an hour. But getting something like this is just nice and unique. It's a treat, and that's what that's what I like. Uh, the biscuits and gravy, I could take it or leave it. It wasn't bad, um, but it was just relatively average good biscuit average gravy everybody's grandmother made the best biscuits and gravy on the planet and i would love to see just a grandma battle royal the grandma biscuits and gravy battle royal somebody put that on pay-per-view would you i'd pay to see that um you were at that point of this video so okay i'm gonna wrap it up pal's breakfast fantastic uh no complaints on my end whatsoever i would definitely do it again even if it was just for the coffee uh i would i would hit pals up so excellent. Uh, if you've never seen Pals, they're mostly limited here in Northeast Tennessee. They've got around 55, 60 locations. Uh, if you've liked this video, go ahead and like this video. Uh, I certainly wouldn't mind if you wanted to hit that subscribe button too and come along with me on some more of my food review, my dining, my camping, my hiking, and anything else I decide to do here in Northeast Tennessee and beyond. Uh, you can check out my shorts, which have absolutely nothing to do with the rest of this content. I know that. Uh, shorts are just whatever strikes my fancy at the time I throw them up there. But please, tag along if you like. And until we meet again, happy trails. I'm going to finish this biscuit.